Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 20. It says of all the cylindrical cans of a given volume, we have to find dimensions which has the minimum surface area. So this is one cylindrical can, I can have multiple cylindrical can like this if you see, one with uh, more height, uh, less width, the other with more width, less height. So if you see all these, I mean there are some uh, cylindrical cans for which the area is same. Sorry, the volume is same. The volume of this cylindrical can is same. I'll say wall is equal to constant, right? We will find the dimensions such that surface area is minimum, correct? So volume is nothing but, we know that volume is nothing but pi r square h and this is constant and surface area is nothing but and that value is constant and it is 100 also given, 100, correct? So that is one equation I got and surface area is nothing but we know that 2 pi r h plus pi r square, correct? 2 pi r square by 2 pi r h is the this area, the curved area surface area and two circles we have 2 pi r square. Total surface area is this. I have to find the dimensions for which surface area is minimum. So I have to find dSA by dr, correct? And I have to make it zero. To find that, I have to convert this equation into a total equation which is in the form of r. H component should not be there. So what I can do, I can get this equation from here where h is equal to 100 by pi r square, correct? I'll write here, in this equation, I'll get h is equal to 100 by pi r square. This is my first equation if you see. So I'll convert this uh, SA as 2 pi r, h is nothing but 100 by pi r square plus 2 pi r square. So if you see this equation is totally independent of h, it is totally in form of r, pi pi cancel. So now I have to find dSA by dr. So that becomes, this is 200 by r, that becomes minus 200 by r square plus 2 pi r square become 2 pi into 2r and this is equal to 0. So if you solve this what you get 4 pi r cube is equal to 200 correct 4 pi r cube is equal to 200 or you get r cube is equal to 50 by pi or r is equal to 50 by pi to the power 1 by 3. So I got one value of r but I don't know whether in this case it is max, min or inflection. I don't know. For that let me find d double d square s by dr square. That will be how much if this is my this d s by dr correct. So this will become this will become I think 200 by r square into r to the power minus 2 so minus 2 multiplication and this becomes minus 3 correct plus 4 pi r become 4 pi this is the value this is nothing but plus 400 by r cube plus 4 pi and this is always greater than 0 because r is always greater than 0 it is a uh, dimension and this everything is greater than 0 since it is greater than 0 my this value is minimum value correct since this is minimum value i know the value of r now i can find the value of h now h is nothing but 100 by pi r square 100 by pi r square r is what 50 by pi to the power 1 by 3 square 2 by 3 if you solve this you get nothing but 2 into 50 by pi to the power 1 by 3 and you see everything is in centimeter so this is also centimeter and this is also centimeter so i found the value of h and r so that the surface area is minimum see the logic is very simple in all the questions something is constant is given and and it is given that something is maximum or minimum so with one equation i can find 
this value of h or r something in the other equation where it is maximum or minimum i need to find that equation totally depend on one variable only so in this case i converted this sa as equation in r only by replacing h with 100 by pi r square so once i have that kind of equation s in terms of r only i can find ds by dr make it zero i got the value of r and that r is a critical point can be maximum minimum or point of inflection to confirm its minimum or maximum i can just find d double um, double second derivative of s with respect to r and then i found that this is greater than zero that means i'm talking about the minimum value that confirms that it is minimum value and thus and then i found the value of h and thus i have h and r let's take a more example a wire of 28 meter is to be cut into two pieces one of the pieces is made into a square the other is made into a circle we have to find the length of two pieces so that the combined area of circle and square is minimum see if you see this is the wire and the wire length is 28 meter and we cut this wire into two half and we make a circle and a square with this correct that is how it is so let's say my i cut this into this half x and this part is 28 minus x correct now if i make a square with this all the side will be x by 4 because the total length is x now and for this my circumference will be 28 minus x so my radius here will be 28 minus x by 2 pi correct and here my side will be x by 4 now the question says what should be the length of the two piece so that the combined area of the square is area of the square and circle is minimum so total area is not combined area is what side square that is x by 4 square plus pi r square what is the value of r 28 minus x by 2 pi square so this is the combined area and if you see this is one equation in terms of x we have to find the value of areas x such that area is maximum so da by dx you have to find here and that will be equal to x square becomes 2x 4 square is 16 plus pi into this one will become 2 into 28 minus x pi and this 2 pi square will be there and this into minus 1 correct that's how it will become and 2 pi 2 pi cancel so this will be da by dx and this will be equal to 0 for maximum or minimum value of x so if you solve this what you get x will come out to be you can solve this on your own or let me solve this x by 8 is equal to 28 minus x by 2 pi correct or if you solve this x will come out to be 28 by 1 plus pi by 4 this is the value of x but we don't know whether it is a maxima or minima or inflection so let's find double derivative of a this is d a square by dx square that will be equal to this guy will become 2 by 16 minus it is 1 by 2 pi into 28 minus x will become 28 for minus 1 So if you see this is nothing but 1 by 8 minus 1 by 2 pi and this is always greater than 0 correct this is greater than 0 that means I am talking about minima and that is what the question is asking so my value of x I know if my value of x is there so the length of the wire is nothing but this guy and 28 minus x correct so value of x is 28 by 1 plus pi by 4 so let's put this like this this becomes 4 
So I'll multiply it over here. So this becomes 1, 1, 2 by pi by 4, pi plus 4. This is the value of x and 28 minus x is nothing but 28 minus 1, 1, 2 by pi plus 4. That if you solve, that comes out to be 28 pi by pi plus 4. So the value of length of the wire is this and this, where this is for square because x was for square and this is for so so very simple what we have done we knew we have a constant that is 28 length of the wire i got x and 28 minus x is the length of a uh, square and a circle i got two equations i got one equation where i got the area as pi x by 4 square plus pi into 28 minus x by 2 by square and i want this equation if you see is in terms of x only i want to maximize the value of area so i say da by dx that is equal to 0 i found the value of x to be 20 by 1 plus pi by 4 just double check whether it is maximum or minimum i found that da square a by dx square comes out to be negative greater than 0 that is i'm talking about minimum value so i found value of x and 28 minus thank you visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.